Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just got this box coming for the post, so I thought maybe let's open it up on camera and see what's in there. Okay, another day, another video. So I think this is what it is. I paid a relatively cheap price for this. Um, a silly price, to be honest. So this whole lot was super cheap. And you might think, I mean, why did I buy that for? I like collecting vintage toys. I like selling vintage toys. So um, <clears throat> whenever I see a good deal on eBay or any other place, I buy it. So it was a job lot of stuff, basically for four pounds plus four pounds postage. So it cost me like eight pounds for all of this. So it's a lot of vintagey stuff, so you might not like it if you're into like, your modern stuff, but... So, here we go. We've got this weird, creepy guy. It's like a hand puppet. He's quite small, probably for a child. Um, most likely from some kind of like Punch and Judy set or something like that. <coughs> He's a bit dirty. His head's like a... I don't want to say it's made of like a resin sort of thing. It looks very, very creepy. So yeah, I paid four pounds for this lot. It was a mixed bag of stuff, but I get picking. If I could take some of this to, to, to a toy fair or a toy show, you know, and sell one item for four pound, everything else is free. Well, eight pound, you say. <coughs> so what else is in here? This is how mad this bundle is, actually. This is something I might actually keep because I love the way he looks, and he looked great on my shelf. This is Wally. So he um he's really cool. He's got like a um rubber tire tracks. He's most likely in remote control. I'm not sure if he's the one that kind of contracts into himself. But he looks really cool. Um I love Wally, he's a great little character. I love robots. He reminds me of Johnny Five from um Short Circuit. So, I mean, I reckon I could probably get five pound for him as he is, which is not a bad deal, really. There you go, just the camera a bit better. So yeah, so far, if I can sell him for three or four pound, I don't know what he is, I need to research him. Sometimes you find these old puppets give a lot of money. Um, I've seen at auction um, Punch and Judy sets go for thousands. Um, so yeah, he's easily worth the money, I would happily pay the money for him. <coughs> I like Wally quite a lot, so he might stay on my desk. And then we have a little baby Wally. Um, I don't know what this is for. It's like a little cube. I don't even know what these, um, this one's for. Is it Lego maybe? Not Lego. Playmobil maybe? It might just be a McDonald's toy for all I know. Looks like he contains something in the middle. So yeah, definitely a bit of a strange mix so far, I can tell you that. Sorry about the weird angle, by the way. I don't really have a table at the moment. All my tables have been used for my office stuff. For my work. Um, cool. So this is a bit of an annoying thing to receive, because it's like, what do I do with it? Anybody really recognise these? This is from a 1970s game where King Kong basically climbs the Twin Towers. Um, and you play a game where you roll the dice, and there's a few people there. Um, one of the things when you buy these sort of lots is you get this sort of stuff. It's kind of what you do with it, because you can't play it as a game, you just, you've just got to sell it spares. But how many people are actually after the spares, considering the game might only be like worth £10 or so. So it's a bit of a, a pointless thing to own, really. And there's instructions. I think this is based on the 1970, I want to say 1976, 1978 film, which stars Jeff Bridges. Um, so yeah, that's the instructions for that. The more I get that stuff, the more it's easy to sell, really, so that's good. But it's just a bit annoying, really. Uh, next up is... I think it's got any age tricks, it's got a barcode that's brand new and sealed. This is a puzzle of... Um, the Prisoner, the TV show from 1967-68. Um, it's filmed in, in Wales. 
can't remember, I can't remember his name, Patrick McGoldgloom or something like that. But um, I could probably make £10 mark anywhere as it is. There's a loads of collectors of the prisoner right there. And then this is the bit which I load. And it, oh, it's still it's sealed, I didn't realise that. It's a brand new and sealed uh, Star Trek, the animated series. Puzzle. A frame tray puzzle. These aren't worth mega money. They're um I've had a few before like um Buck Rogers and stuff and it they they're a bit of a struggle to sell to be honest. But even though I put it out on my store for say maybe a ten pound, some Star Trek band will come along eventually and buy it. But I think between those two puzzles that's my money back. I got Wally and this chap for free. So that'd be easy tenor, £10 plus postage for those. Uh, I need to do some research into the little puppet. Hopefully it's not haunted. Ooh. Right, what else is in this box? Box is filled with um, newspaper, but here we go. So this is the last thing I bought. So if you're not aware, in America especially, um, holiday season is always massive and people collect seasonal um, items. For example, people collect vintage Christmas tree lights and vintage Christmas tree stuff. They also collect vintage Halloween stuff. So these are trick-or-treat metal cookie cutters for Halloween. These are not worth mega money. I checked out the sales in um, in the States and they go for about $20. Uh, it's really cool, You've got like a bat. Got a witch, a pumpkin, a cat, a broomstick, and an owl. Um, but yeah, I love these sort of things. These things to me are just look. The artwork's amazing. These are probably, I'd say, sixties. They don't have any barcode on them. They don't really. They feel quite old. They're definitely not eighties. I'd say probably sixties. They've got a price on the side there. Um, Cool, yeah, they're vintage things. They're not worth mega money. I'm probably going to try and get about £25 for this. Um, it would do very well at Halloween. And at the moment, we're locked down. A lot of people are, are you know, decorating cakes, making cakes, making cookies. So it might do quite well. So yeah, that was it. A little bit short and sweet. Just a little um, unboxing of what I had. Considering I paid £8 for this, it was worth it. The bo the picture was not the best picture in the world. I could see some things, I could see the puzzles, and, and I knew this was in there, so I thought that's my money back, really. Um, so I was just maybe expecting something else now, hidden underneath the you know, stuff, but there wasn't. So um, overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll probably get myself just to a tally. Should we say £10 for the two wallies together? Maybe £20 for the trick-or-treaters? So that's 30 Um Maybe if I'm lucky, ten pound each for that. So that's fifty. I'll probably put the King Kong spice bears up myself for a tenner, and that's sixty. And then the doll, I need to do some investigation into the puppet, but he could be worth ten pound. So that's sixty, seventy pounds worth of stuff. It will be long sellers. These are not going to sell straight away at all, um, unless somebody wants to, unless somebody sees what they want, like something, and they want to buy it. It's going to be pretty hard to um, shift this in one go or shift this in a quick manner. I think these puzzles are alright. These puzzles are brand new and sealed. I absolutely love that Star Trek puzzle. Kirk and Spock and Scotty at the bottom. I'm not sure who the blonde girl's called. No, she appears in the series for a small bit of time. So this was actually made in 1979. So it would have been on for sale basically in 1980. Which um, is a bit weird because obviously with the Star Trek it was popular for about a year or two back in the 60s then it went out of fashion and it was cancelled after the third series I believe and it became popular because of syndication in America and word of mouth and conventions and that sort of stuff so it's cool that they're still making original era stuff as late as 1979 I would have thought by now the all the merchandise would have been Star Trek the motion picture merchandise but clearly not they're still going for the old school which is good Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very quick unboxing and see you again.